Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio 2. We are going to take a look at this week. We're kind of doing a lot on the default instruments, mainly the Polysynth and the FM4. Um, something that's very unique to the actual uh, native instruments in Bitwig Studio is you can do something with the MIDI notes that you can't do with any other uh, VST instrument. Let's go ahead and click on this MIDI clip, and you can see I have two notes here. I have a G and an A. And it's just two notes, and now if I play this, it's just dropping down. You know, nothing that exciting. It's the G dropping down to the A, and we have the String King preset on the polysynth. Um, but if you click this icon down here, you'll see these lines appear in the middle of the notes. And what you can do here is you can plot points on here. I would recommend turning your, your uh, audition off. But you can plot points on here, and you can actually bend these notes down. See? Now if I play this again, you'll see that that actually bends the pitch down to the next note. So very unique. You can only do this with the native Bitwig devices. Now not only that, but you can actually do this with, with more than one note. So if I were to take this up and make a, you know, a chord, let's say out of it, a simple chord here, um, I can actually uh, whoops, move these uh, notes up and make a, a chord out of this. So now we have a three note, basically a triad with a slide here. So check this out. So now you can see that by two triads sliding down in pitch to one another, and then you can, of course, mess with the velocity a little bit. You can really get kind of an emotional tug on this, on these, um, on these MIDI notes and really create kind of a, a little bit of a hook in there. So if I do this, it's actually going to pitch up here. Let's try this again. So, I mean, you can go absolutely nuts with this principle, but again, it's very important to understand you can only do this on the native uh, Bitwig instruments. So, again, little things here and there. Again, you click this icon and a line will appear that represents the pitch of the note. And then, you, of course, you can bend that and do pitch curves and whatnot. Just another tool in your arsenal to create a hook, to create an emotional grab from these MIDI notes. Uh, first off, this was in the wrong spot, this triad here. So I want to bend this note down to this triad. But yes, you can add curves in here. If you go here and hit the Alt, you can actually add curves in there. So you can, uh, you can pitch these down and curve them as well. Very unique. Once again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Chill Computer Guy. We'll see you guys next week.